Puppet Labs is pleased to provide an integration service for VMware vFabric Application Director. Our technology enables software-defined infrastructure, allowing sysadmins to programmatically provision, configure, and manage servers, as well as network devices in the data center or in the cloud. In this video, we'll demonstrate our integration with Application Director, which enables users to utilize Puppet to describe their infrastructure and provide the option to leverage modules from Puppet Forge as building blocks to create services for Application Director. Finally, we'll create a blueprint and configure Puppet parameters in Application Director for software deployment. So what we jump in here is VMware Solution Exchange, which links us to the solution page on GitHub. There we have the link to the project itself. And now we log into App Director itself. After the initial login, what we are gonna be able to see is that we have no Puppet services yet. So what we wanna do is create a Puppet service uh, by adding it. Uh, when we generate this, we're going to go ahead and type in Puppet Enterprise, provide a service version de description. Uh, we support a lot of platforms, and they're not all here. See our Puppet Labs webpage. Most of the Linux uh, platforms are supported, and this particular integration that we're showing here is working on CentOS. And the one of the components you want to make sure you add is scripts. And when you jump into actions, uh, simply go back to the GitHub page and go to scripts, select a Puppet Enterprise script. Uh, and copy and paste that script into the uh, application director itself. Under properties, uh, like every project, there's a global prop conf property that's a content. Uh, just go ahead and paste the default value in, which is the Darwin server itself. Uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, select a puppet package you want to deploy. You can use a generic all package, but it's fairly large, so I would recommend uh, creating individual ones specific to the platform. Here, because of CentOS, we selected uh, the RPM packages for it. And the few options we also support are the puppet servers. So if you have a server in your environment, you can certainly specify a system which will check in and send puppet reports to. Once this, all this is done, we have the puppet service. And the next thing is, um, let's see what kind of services we can actually deploy. Let's say I'm interested in deploying MySQL. Well, where do we get a module for this? Well, it happens that we have them on Forge. So the first thing we want to do is clone down the App Director integration project itself. Once we are here, we can look at App Director. And uh, if we check the modules, at the moment, we don't actually have anything on the system I have here. So what we want to do is search and look for it. So if I simply type in module search and search under the Puppet Labs namespace, I'll find out that there's tons of modules. Uh, and the one thing I want to install here is, uh, a, um, is MySQL. So in this case, I'll install MySQL. I'll type in the Puppet Labs MySQL module, and the module tool itself will automatically download and install it to my computer. The next thing I want to do is use the Apple Director module to list what classes are in this module. And because I'm interested in installing the MySQL server, I'll simply type out the MySQL server, which generates the script. And this is a script you want to use inside App Director itself. So I'll simply go ahead and copy it now. And let's jump back into App Director and let's start creating the service again. So again, we're going to type in the actual MySQL service and the service version. I'm just matching that to the Forge version. Under tags, it's an application server and supported OS. We'll look at the module, but I think it supports all Ubuntu and Red Hat Linux flavors. And these are varies, they depend on the module you choose. And let's click on the install script and we just paste in that bash script and we'll copy out all the class parameters. What we want to do here is add the class parameters to the properties list because these are things that the user can specify. Again, we want to add global conf because that's a default value that we have in the system itself. Uh, and next thing we're going to do is add each one of the properties here uh, and set the default value to undef. You're going to see the video go fairly quick here because there's several options. We sped it up so that you don't have to wait and see all the options here. But essentially, if the public class did not generate any parameters, you don't have any tunables. But if the public class itself generated a list of parameters, these are all values that you can set and alter. Specifically, what does a value do? Those are things that you want to look at the module page itself to find out more information. So once we have all this done, now it's time to actually create an application blueprint where we deploy MySQL. So what we're going to do is go ahead, 
select the operating system, filter by puppet, and drag in puppet, and the MySQL solution we created. The one thing to keep in mind is we want to create a dependency between MySQL and Puppet, so that Puppet gets installed first, and then Puppet can deploy the MySQL services itself. And the rest of this is very familiar to people who use App Director. We're just going to go ahead, select that location to deploy this, and initial the deployment. And once the deployment starts, this will basically occur in the background, and this will run uh, until the product is deployed in your environment. So we can take a quick look at Forge. In here, there's more information about the MySQL class. So once you deploy this, you can actually describe databases in the Puppet syntax, where you can just simply say the username, password, host, and what uh, permissions to grant that particular users. And you can also go directly onto the GitHub page where there's additional information, such as the source code. For each project, the capabilities are different, so you do want to read in specific details. But the benefit here is you don't have to write your deployment for MySQL. You can leverage the things that we already have for Puppet. You can go to Forge. You can search the solutions that we have available there and use them as a building block for AppDirector. In summary, we used Puppet to deploy MySQL inside AppDirector, and the MySQL service is generated from a Forge module that exists. With Puppet and AppDirector, what you get is accelerated deployment and management of applications on VMware clouds. Thanks again for watching this video.